Gender Equality in Science Women make up 50% of our community. That should include science. Things have improved dramatically since 1919, but not enough. Then what is so positive in this? Well, it is no longer extraordinary for a woman to be a doctor, or a scientist. The gender discrimination that extraordinary women like Rosalind Franklin or Marie Curie faced about the merits of their scientific contributions would not happen today. According to Oxford University Press, the inequality toward women is endorsed within cultures and entrenched within institutions, hold power to reproduce that inequality. The statistics from National Science Board NSB, present the change at that time. The number of science degrees awarded to women rose from 7% in 1970 to 24% in 1985. In 1975 only 385 women received bachelor's degrees in engineering compared to 11,000 women in 1985, indicating the importance of legislation to the representation of women in science. Elizabeth Finkel, journalist and scientist, claims that even if the number of women participating in scientific fields increases, the opportunities are still limited. However, when the women try to prove their competence and power, they often faced obstacles. In any case, in most cultures around the world, men are still more likely to hold positions of economic, cultural and political power and earn the biggest salaries. On the contrary, and looking at the bright side, these differences are formed by the society and culture, they can exist in many variations and can change and adapt within time. Nevertheless, public debate on positive regulations for women in science is missing, 